Uh, today we are going to deal with soil permeability analysis with a multi-layered soil or a stratified soil. So today we are going to deal with constructing a slope which have two layers and different angles and different ground water levels. So if it is your first time to, to this channel, please make subscribe, like and comment in the comment box so that you you don't you don't you don't lose or miss any video that you have just done so today let's start uh mat layered mat layered slope stability analysis Stability analysis. Good. Then modeling model. The first one. Uh, we want. Let's. We are. We're going to 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 do things like this one. This one. Yes. Uh, it is not. It is not. I don't. Okay. Oh, good. It was not. It was not good to, the first time. So today. Uh, you see this uh, sloped, sloped shape. The upper layer and lower layer. As you see, we have two two layers as type of our soil. We have two layers. We want to, to design about these two layers. So now let's start with these layers. We are going to design for this layer. The first layer is lower layer and upper layer. Upper layer have these properties and lower layer with this with these properties. So now without wasting our time let's start Good. let's continue then uh, we have we are going to to deal with this uh the the first one should be start uh let's put as as we have seen as we have seen in our in our in our our graph the the the, the length the length is about 40 meter the the length of our 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 our, our slope is about the 40 meter 40 meter and the height height is about a uh, about 14 30, 30 meter to 14 so it means the maximum of x should be 40 and the mean maximum of y should be 14 so that's why we're going to put in in x minimum we need to put 40 and then for y maximum we put 40 good then click ok now what we're going to do is first to 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 go to structure we use structured structure the zone then to come here for create polygon sorry polygon for soil polygon we are going to to create a polygon of our soil the member we have to to start from zero and to 14 14 meter Yes, somewhere like here, 40 meter. Then, if you remember, we should, we should, we should go up uh, this zone from here up to here. It is, it has about a uh, four or four. Yes, it's about four. It's about four. Yes, it's about four about four should should go up for four four meter then after after going for four meter we go to sloped up to 20 as you see it is 20 no 30 30 to 4 as well should go horizontally from 30 to 4 30 to 4 it's where it is here and then as the seen as the seen we go we will go up this angle for 45 angle, angle for 10 10 to 30 10 to 30 10 horizontally vertically and 30 vert horizontally 10 30 
good. Ten thirty. Yeah, yeah, then good. You can create this like this. It, it, that's the, the first way to create this one. That's the first that's the first the first the first point or the first case. You can also uh, after creating this one you can also cut this polygon into two two parts as as the same on this on this chart you see this chart is starts from nine yeah we can also cut this 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 chart to nine nine to twenty yeah let's put let's, let's try it this way we can also cut the polygon for nine where is nine nine is here then straight uh straight line to stay to nine Good. You see, now things are done. We are already finished by constructing our 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 polygon or our slope. So then, what we're going to do now? We're going to to create a soil, a soil. So we come here and create a soil, our soil, our soil properties. Um, we're going to 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 to, to enter. The, the soil properties the first one should be a paria as as you have seen it's called a paria in more co more columns the unit weights are treated for a paria this one is a 17 17 it's a 17 let's that one be like uh, 19 no problem to be 19 the Young's mod was about 15,000 and poison is ratio of 0 0.25 0 0.25 15 and here to be 0 0.25 the friction angle should be 4 and uh, angle cohesion yeah, cohesion should be 4 and the angle to be 20 the friction angle to be 20 but that remain the same but that should be constant no problem cool then we click ok then you go to create the lower layer the lower layer the lower layer which has um unit weight of 18 and Young's modulus of 25,000, cohesion of 8, and poison is ratio of 0 0.23. So we come we come here, it should be 80. We can call it for an unsaturated to call 20, no problem. Then unsaturate uh, 25 here, it would be 25. Then go to 2, 0 0.23. Uh, cohesion should be, was was cohesion was was eight and angle of twenty five was eight and angle of twenty five so then as I remain the same good that is fine when what we're going to do we're going to insert our soil parameters as you see the 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 shape was just turned and the calculated so what we're going to do is to to come to our strut our structure then we're going to insert our soil we click on the left side then we go to set materials upper layer lower layer because of our lower layer then we come here also make the same inside the soil upper layer good now what the next next one is about uh, to create to, to generate mesh we're going to generate the mesh for our slope. Generate the mesh 
as usual i think you are used to using it we are not we are going to use minimum minimum element distribution so to create our mesh we can view our mesh it is already created now our mesh is like this this is our system what our system is going to learn for good that's good that's fine then we come to flow condition or uh, we, we are not going to deal with this flow condition right now but let, let's continue for the stage the construction the stage construction you see the 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 the, the shape is is already there there's no there's not visible it's, it isn't it's not visible in the screen because we are, we are going to construct it or we are, it is we are, it is in stage the construction so the first stage should be the 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 initial loading or the graffiti loading for the first stage then we can up, upgrade this stage or activate this stage in a, on the initial phase then the next stage should be started from the initial phase stage one which we call it deformation deformation stage Formation stage and click OK and our first our last stage should be started from the initial phase as uh, we call it the factor of safety it will start on the, the initial phase because we analyze the factor of safety of the total structure so the the, the, the second phase should be the factor of safety the factor of safety of our 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 face then the to start from the first one to the initial phase and the question type should be safety then okay after that we're going to learn our model we're going to learn our model so we, we go to calculate so they're asking us to to select the node so if we select the node it is where we want to 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 check the the maximum stresses and deformations so you can let select this node it is enough for this node or this or this one you can select multiple nodes no problem like this one then update now we can just learn our model uh, we have to wait uh, for a short moment this is not going to get wet yes wait a bit wait a bit good now it is done we come here to check the result that is have been Created, you see that is the the, the 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 failure zone this is the failure zone obtained this is our failure our failure zone that have been obtained in our structure mm -hmm. let's check on the the deformation mesh you see the deform the deform the deform the shape of our our slope it is only in the la in the first layer it means that the first layer is 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 not strong enough of course it is as well as a layer a layer is not is not strong that's why it flows as shown in the figure the the upper layer is just soft yes that's why it it is it is it is it is flows so if we get to 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 check for for the 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 factor of safety can check the factor of safety um, to, to see what is the factor of safety how much is it you see the factor of safety is 1.4 1.4 as factor of safety you see it is a it is it is it is somehow good this factor of safety is somehow good even though it is not good enough but it's somehow good factor of factor of safety of 1.4 is somehow good so 
We can now continue to check for other parameters. Um, if you want, you can also check for the deformation in x axis and uh, phase displacement. You can also check for phase displacement. You can also check for stresses, principal stresses. This is the, 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 the that's also all, all stresses that should be checked right now. So if you want to, 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 to put, to put the, or display the fact of safety in the front of the pipe of the, 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 the shape of your shape, you can come here to, to label annotation. And then you double click where you want to put your 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 factor of safety. Then what factor of safety equal to one point four? That is very good for the factor of safety. Then you click OK. Good. Now things is is good. Let's meet on the on the next video on next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for this channel if it is your first time thank you so much